The Lord be with you. We've gathered together to worship God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit and learn about a Roman soldier and his amazing faith in Jesus. And today we're thinking about the value of wisdom. When Jesus met the Roman centurion, a man used to shouting out commands to soldiers, he was really surprised by the centurion's faith and wisdom. The actions that go with this story need to be done quickly and silently so that the story can continue. So when I talk about um, Standing up, I'm going to point my sword up, and you can stand up. And when I say march, I'm going to point my sword forward, and you can walk up and down on the spot, or if you're sitting at the time, you can just move your feet on the spot. And when I say sit down, I'm going to point my sword downwards, and you sit down. But apart from a little noise, like that when you march, just very briefly, we can do these actions silently. So here is the story. The centurion was an officer in the Roman army stationed on the shores of Lake Galilee in the city of Capernaum. At the very least, he commanded 80 soldiers and possibly many, many more. So when he said, stand up, his soldiers stood up. And when he said, march, his soldiers went forward and marched. And when he said, sit down, his soldiers sat down. That's what his soldiers did. The centurion was used to giving orders. He was used to being obeyed. He had authority. He was used to getting his way. But when his favourite servant fell ill, there was nothing he could do. There was no amount of shouting or ordering or commanding that could make his servant well again. And the centurion was wise enough to know that he didn't have authority over sickness. But there was someone who could heal his servant. A teacher called Jesus who was healing people right across the land. So when the centurion heard that Jesus was going to visit Capernaum, he wisely went to see him and ask him to make his servant well. And as usual, Jesus was surrounded by a great crowd of people and his disciples. My servant is terribly ill, the centurion said. So ill he cannot move. I'll heal your servant, Jesus said. Let's go to your house. Oh no! said the centurion. I am not worthy to have a man like you come to my house. And there's no need, really. Much like you, I'm a man with authority, a man with power. When I say, stand up, my soldiers stand up. When I say, march, my soldiers march. And when I say, sit down, my soldiers sit down. That's exactly what they do. So I know that all you have to do is command the illness to go away and my servant will be healed. When Jesus heard the centurion's words, he was amazed. Did you hear that? Jesus said to everyone standing around, This man is a Roman, 
He's not even Jewish like us. And yet, wisely, he trusts me more than any of our own people ever have. Then Jesus turned to the centurion and said, You've trusted me and all that you hoped for has happened. And at that very moment, the centurion's servant was healed. So the centurion went back to his job, commanding and ordering and showing his power, just like Jesus did. So when the centurion said, stand up, his soldiers stood up. And when he said, march, his soldiers marched. And when he said, sit down, his soldiers sat down. They obeyed his word, the word of a man with authority and a wise man at that who recognised Jesus' authority. Thinking back over that story that we've just heard, you might want to think a little bit about what it was that amazed Jesus about the Roman centurion. When Jesus said, he would go with the centurion to his house to see the poorly servant. The Roman said, no, I'm not worthy to have you come to my house. Just give the command and the illness will go away. Jesus was amazed at the man's faith. I wonder how you'd explain what the word faith means. Well, I had a little think and there are different definitions but faith is when you have complete trust and confidence in someone or something when you believe that someone deserves to be trusted giving you other examples we could say his parents have always had faith in him it means that someone's parents have always believed in them we had faith in her ability to succeed. And in uh, religious terms, it's used, the word faith is used to describe a strong belief in the doctrines of a particular religion based on spiritual conviction. The centurion was wise and knew beyond doubt that Jesus could be trusted and the centurion's faith in Jesus was rewarded. I'm going to say a short prayer now, and if you'd like to make it your own, please say Amen at the end. Lord Jesus, thank you for the story of the centurion and his faith in you. Inspire us to trust you and help us to know that we are loved. Amen.